today we'll enjoy the delights of Provencal cuisine by making the bisaladilla, a sort of pizza tart with a crust made from red dough, topped with caramelized onions and garnished with salty anchovies and black olives, a tasty mix of Mediterranean flavors. Let's see the recipe. Ingredients for a baking pan about 13 and a half inches by 10 inches. For the dough, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, three quarter cup of water, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil plus as needed for greasing, one teaspoon of salt, a third teaspoon of malt or sugar, half a teaspoon of active dry yeast or a quarter ounce of fresh yeast. For topping, 2.2 pounds of golden onions, two and three quarter tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two cloves of garlic, five sprigs of thyme, two bay leaves, 14 ounces of anchovies and salt, 5.3 ounces rinsed and drained, three tablespoons of capers in vinegar, a quarter cup of wet sugar, 30, 35 Nisoas olives or black olives, pepper to taste. First of all, make the bread dough. So, take the bowl of a stem mixer or a large bowl if working by hand and sift the all-purpose flour. Now, pour a little water into a small bowl from the total amount and dissolve the salt. But before this, we'll add a mixture of water, malt or sugar if you don't have malt, active dry yeast and oil. So add the malt. And the oil. In this way, we'll add the liquid ingredients all at once, whereas the salt should not be added to the yeast mixture. Now, beat with a pedal attachment. When the dough gathers around the pedal, we'll switch to the dough hook and beat for at least another 4-5 minutes at medium speed. Now, beat in the salt and water mixture. The dough has come together, so replace the paddle with the dough hook as said before and beat for about 4-5 minutes until nice and smooth. Here we are, the dough is ready. Form into a bowl shape and place in a bowl, lightly greased with oil, cover with cream film and allow to rise for about 2 hours until doubled in size. As an alternative to bread dough, you can use puff pastry or show crust pastry. You can make them from scratch, watching the recipes on the Yellow Saffron channel or buy them ready-made at the supermarket. Let it rest at the room temperature between 82 and 86 degrees. While the dough is rising, move on to the topping for the pisaladiere. Put the extra virgin olive oil in a large pan, crush or a chop two cloves of garlic, and saute until light brown. Then add the golden onions. They have been peeled, cut in half, and thinly sliced. So add the sliced onions, cook until softened, 
but not browned. So keep the heat low and immediately add the chopped thyme and bay leaves. The sugar and freshly ground pepper. Don't add salt as a mixture of chopped capers and anchovies will be added later. Now mix well and cover with a lid. If it dries out, you can add one or two tablespoons of hot water. It shouldn't be necessary. Be very careful not to brown or burn the onions. Here we are, the onions are almost done. They're pretty soft as you can see, but not mushy. Another few minutes and we'll turn off the heat. Meanwhile, chop the capers that have been previously drained of vinegar and squeezed together with 1 and 3 quarter ounces of anchovies the anchovies and salt must be rinsed and drained in this way place them in a container and wash repeatedly under cold running water very gently to keep them from breaking up after rinsing off the salt soak in cold water for 2-3 hours changing the soaking water very often for a milder flavour after that, separate the anchovies into two fillets and remove the guts. Then place on kitchen paper to, to drain. 14 ounces of anchovies and salt should make about 5.3 ounces of clean fillets. Weigh out 1 and 3 quarter ounces and chop with the capers, as I was saying before. Then we'll add the resulting mixture to the onions. Okay, the onions are nice and softened, with no liquid left in the pan. So, turn off the heat and add the chopped capers and anchovies while the onions are still hot, so the anchovies can melt. The pisaladier takes its name from the pisala, which refers to the anchovy sauce that was originally used for topping the pisaladier. Whereas nowadays, the recipe calls for fillets of anchovies in salt rinsed and drained, just as we did. Once well blended, allow the mixture to cool. Now it's time to assemble the pisaladier. First, preheat a static oven to 430 degrees, with a baking tray inside, so that it's nice and hot. Take a baking pan, about 13 and a half inches by 10 inches and grease with oil. Then take the dough, which has risen by now. And press it out with your fingers to cover the bottom of the pan as the dough should be quite thin. After that, we'll top the dough with a cooled onion caper and anchovy mixture, leaving a border of 3 quarter inch uncovered. So, add the onion mixture and spread it out evenly to about 3 quarter inch from the edges, as just said. That's it! Now decorate the top with the remaining anchovies. Lay the fillets along the diagonal lines, starting from the two corners and create a crisscross pattern. 
As you can see, the anchovies are undoubtedly the star of this recipe. The name pisala literally means salted fish, and it clearly refers to the anchovies. There is also an Italian version of the pisaladiera that is called pizza l'andrea, pisadella, or saldenaria, because often it was made with the cheaper sardines. There are a few differences, of course. The pizza l'andrea adds tomato to the onions and marjoram to the other aromatic herbs. Once the grid is done, we'll fill the empty spaces between the lines with the olives. This recipe calls for cayettes, black olives from Nice. But if not available, you can use Tajasca olives or local black olives. And now, add the olives. For this recipe, anchovies and salt are better, as long as you rinse them well. Whereas anchovies and oil would make your pisaladia too salty. After adding the olives, bake the pisaladia at 430 degrees for about 25 minutes. Our pisaladia is ready. It's a great appetizer idea, perhaps served with a glass of cool white wine. See you next with the recipe.